So I'm going to have Jeff come up now and play a few tunes. Thank you very much. Uh, Jeff and I have been on uh, parallel tracks along with many other people who are here in the audience tonight who learned fiddling in this parallel track here in Missouri. You know, it's, we were so lucky to, to live here and be interested in fiddle music because uh, feel music, is that, is that what I said? Uh, oh man, that's a bit here. Uh, <laughs> feel yeah. me, fiddle music. <clears throat> because uh, there was just so many people to learn from, you know, it was just, it's mind boggling. Here, have right, right here, baby. Right. Right. right here, baby. Yeah, yeah. Get, get in close. <clears throat> you know, there were just so many great musicians to learn from. I mean, and they were so willing to show you, you know, because there was, I think when, when we started playing, there was kind of a missing generation, you know, of people uh, that, you know, weren't interested in the sons and daughters of the, of the Pete McMahans and Taylor McBains and that group weren't interested in playing fiddle. And so it was us kind of younger, college age and younger people who came up and wanted to learn. I know Dennis and Emily has fit that group and Jim and Lindell and, you know, and Rich, everybody that's, everybody's in here who plays Missouri style fiddle, uh, who was interested in those guys. And so, uh, uh, we're going to play a few tunes, though, from R.P. Christensen, who, uh, and Dennis and Emily had a tremendous long association with R.P. They've got his piano in their living room still. And Jeff, too, visited R.P. many times, and as I did, living in Hallsville, was, a vase was just over a, you know, uh, asphalt road that you didn't have to get on I-70 to get there, you know, you just take the, the, the lettered roads. You know, to get there. <laughs> But so R.P. saved many tunes from the graveyard, you know, by putting them in his book. And some of us saw that book and dug in, and those tunes are played everywhere now. I remember one of the first times I went to Clifftop in the 90s, we were walking around, and I'm hearing all these Christensen tunes, you know. And he would have been so pleased yep. that back east, now all these young people were playing these tunes. Some of them didn't even know they were his tunes, in fact. So what did we pick to play here? Uh, so I think Zach Wheat's piece. Let's try that first, first. one. Yeah, yeah. And here's a uh, Cracker Jacks put out a uh, <laughs> like some years ago put out reproductions of uh, baseball cards, and I happened to open up a Cracker Jacks and it had a no. Zach Wheat reproduction. Yeah. So I keep this in my fiddle case in case you want to hear about Zach Wheat, who was a ball player from Hamilton, Missouri. That's uh, all the information's here. So. He played the Brooklyn Dodgers, didn't he, I think? Or Nationals. Nationals. Brooklyn Nationals. Brooklyn. Wow, that's so close. Yeah, way back. Yeah. And, you know, there, I used to see... Uh, what professional, professional ball players. On trips to the Lake of the Ozarks, the, on the Niangua Arm, where uh, Highway 5 crosses the Lake of the Ozarks, there used to be a Zach Wheat Roadside Park. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't wow. think it's there anymore. Wow. was a All right, why don't you kick it off?
tune. That's tune. a good tune there. <laughs> but we're going to play that Jeff City. Let's do it. What do you know about that tune? Well, I heard that it was, uh, there was a, uh, they used to broadcast a radio uh, show, or they broadcast, it was a radio station that was broadcast from the top of the Missouri State Capitol, real early, early radio uh, station called WOS, which stood for Watch Our State, is what that stood for. And um, they would uh, have fiddle shows, and apparently they used this tune yep. as the, uh, the lead-in or the, uh, you know, the theme song of the show, of a fiddle show. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, cool. And that's why it's called Jeff City, because it's it's it comes from a black fiddle player by right. name Bill Caton, right? Right, and right. Yeah, from over Tebbets. Yeah. Tebbets, right? Yep. Cool. A legendary player, by the way. Yeah, I didn't know that bit about the. Yeah. Bit. That's how the title. Cause, yes. Cause I've always seen it as Caton's Hornpipe, but I think I think RP kind of made that up just to. Yeah. Because that's who played it when he was. Yeah, kid. I don't think he got a name for it. Oh, but yeah, I'll be done. Yeah. All right, well, let's play a little bit Learn of that. Something new every day. <laughs> Learn something new. Learn something new. Just keep your ears open, folks. <laughs> uh, so first part, you start in the you start in the course part. Huh? Give me a it little. It doesn't matter. Whatever, like a. That's the one. Start on that part. Yeah, let's do that. RP's book was uh, that as the kids were playing, you know, we you'd learn a tune out of there, and then you could go play it for one of the old guys, and they'd remember that that was a tune they'd played that they hadn't played in ages. And and this next tune is one of the, in that category. Uh, Granny, will your dog bite? It's in Christus's book, and number I, one. Yeah, that's right. It's the first tune in the book. First that's tune in the book. right. Wow. <laughs> and that doesn't even start with an A. No. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but I I had never I'd been around Pete McMahon quite a bit by the time that book came out and thought I'd heard a lot of the, most of the tunes he knew and I went over and played that tune and then he unloaded it man he said I haven't thought of that in thirty years <laughs> <laughs> so that that was one of the really cool things about using that book too it was like a encapsulated memories for a lot of those old guys that's right yep so this one starts to kind of like no.
That's why they call it cluttering the music. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Yeah, man, thanks a lot. That was spectacular. <laughs>